Hey you guys, Clever TV is at Camp Victory. What's happening? I'm Dana Ward and we are actually on the set of ABC Family's brand new show called Huge. We had a chance to talk with the show star, Nikki Blonsky. Check it out. Hey you guys, what's happening? Dana Ward here with Nikki Blonsky, one of the stars of ABC Family's Huge, brand new show. Brand new show. Brand new show. Has Airs even June debuted. 28th. Yeah, let's get the promo out right from the start, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's how I roll. Right, right. Um, so I want to jump right in. What is the worst part about being a camper at Camp Victory? Uh, the food. Really? Why? What do they make you eat? Like, sometimes in scenes we have to eat, like, really bland poached chicken, you know, and, like, it's just... Ugh. Wait, so even though you're acting, you actually do have to eat it? In the scene, yeah, we uh. have to eat it, and then we have a spit bucket. We're like... Do people really use the spit bucket? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the spit bucket. I'm always like... Ugh. Yeah. Do you have to, have to worry about, like, pins in the chicken or anything, like, holding... Like I've, I've no. heard that they have to hold, you know, make the food look a certain way. They'll put yeah, pins no, in it and all that, that stuff. Spray it with, with stuff. No. Make it look fresh. No, they don't do that. Everything, I guess that's supposed to look bad, right? Yeah, everything we eat here is is pretty fresh and pretty has no taste at all. Oh. When they, I mean, the stuff. I mean, catering's great when we get to eat lunch. Yeah, that's behind awesome. The scenes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> behind the scenes stuff is great. Yeah. So, what is the average day for a camper here? For a camper? Or yeah, for... If, and for your character, Will, because I know she's a little different than the rest of the characters. Yeah, Will oh, doesn't want to get up in the morning for activities. Um, they go through, you know, a jogging trail. Basketball, all different sports, you know, everything. And then sometimes they get to come to the rec room, hang out, and, you know, sometimes they'll catch us having dinner or breakfast or lunch. So, you know, you'll see us going through a day. Oh, man. Yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> Will is just not having it. She's like, ugh, this food sucks, this camp sucks, I hate it, I want to go home. Yeah, because her, her parents are forcing her to go, right? Yeah, her parents are fitness gurus, and they want her to go because they want her to look like them. And that's that's really kind of, that hurts her a lot. But she keeps a lot of her emotions inside. So she, she, she replaces that with um, a very strong sense of, of who she is and a very strong, you know, personality. And she's like, well, I'd rather go bigger at home. You know, she kind of has that motto going. And, and so rather than doing something small, she does something big, you know, rather than, you know, wearing her heart on her sleeve and, and showing a little bit of vulnerability, she doesn't do that. She doesn't let you in. Now, where do the guys come into play? <laughs> Gotta ask. The guys. Well, you know, we're at camp, and, and you know, everybody has a camp crush, I guess. So the guys the guys do come into play. Will has a crush, and but unfortunately right now she's not getting it in return. Oh. So. Yeah. And isn't there, like, some sort of rivalry going on in some yeah, way? Yeah, there's a... Can you there's, tell us about this? Yeah, it's a... Uh, I, my character likes Ian, and then but Ian likes Amber, so. So are there any attention? Gotta love the bells, right? Gotta love. The Gotta bells. love the bells all day long. It's all here. So are there any moments where your character does something crazy in order to get attention from this guy Ian or any of the other guys? Well, it's not really to get. She doesn't really do anything crazy to get attention from them. It's she does it purely just to do it for herself and just show people this is me this is what you're working with you know and um so she like in the first episode she does a strip tease what yeah because the main counselor says <laughs> you know take off your clothes you have to be in your bathing suit for the uh weigh-in and my character is just not a fan of that and my character is Nope, and uh, they get into a little thing, and and so I'm like, okay, you really want it? You really want it? And you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, ah! and that's what happens. We do the striptease. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. 
Can't wait to see that one. Yeah, it's not quite like Demi Moore striptease and striptease. It's more fun, right? It's more ABC Family for kids. Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. Um, who's the jokester on set? Oh, Harvey. Harvey Guillen is so funny. He makes everybody laugh. He is, he's like my best friend on set, and he is so funny. Have there been any pranks? Oh, yeah. They've pranked me with fake snakes. They've gotten me... Oh, they love to get me because oh I'm the one that falls for it all the Please time. Please tell us about the fake snake prank. I would be on your side. I'd be freaking out. Well, because we are in a wilderness area. Well, the thing is, is that we were actually filming in our Mal Malibu location, and the woman had just caught a, a rattlesnake. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, did they keep, is it away, is it like in a bucket or something far away from us? And they were like, yes. And they held up a fake snake and somebody said, Nikki, and I turned around and I just went, ah! Like I just freaked out. Are you, are you, would you say you're totally freaked out by snakes in general? And that yeah, was just like I'm icing on the cake? Fan. And then recently we had to deal with, um, I did a scene with a very large hissing cockroach. Oh yeah. So what, I had what did to, you have to do with the cockroach? I just had to pick it up and move it and stuff and put it in a cup and. You know, oh. And I'm not a big fan of bugs either, but I had to get over my fear. Yeah, how do you get over something like that? Just, is there you just jump right into it? You just jump right in. Is there is there a trainer on set for a, there for a cockroach? There is. There really? We had a cockroach wrangler. We did. Who would have thunk? Yeah. So were there multiple cockroaches in case one, you know, yeah. gets smashed or Absolutely. runs away? Yeah, there was a bunch of cockroaches That's, just in case. Oh, the joy of working on a camp set, right? Absolutely. But talk a little bit about the wardrobe because that's probably a good part. That is, it's a great part for me. I wear all boys clothes. Willa has blue hair, she wears all boys clothes. You know, like I said, she's against the grain, not your typical girl. Um, so she would not be caught dead in any of these clothes I'm wearing now. Nothing stylish like this. Oh, thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, she wears all boys clothes and I have to tell you, it's the most comfortable wardrobe I've ever had. Love it. <laughs> what about I the hair? It. I don't see any blue in your hair right now. Oh, we took it out. We took it out. It, clippings? So it could look pretty. No, it's, it's actually, um, they spray it in every day. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. So everybody check out Huge, June 28th on ABC Family, 9 p.m. Yes. Thank you so much, Nikki Blonsky, for joining so us. And uh, make sure you check out Clever TV for all of your entertainment news and updates. We'll see you soon.